We are very different artists, I guess. Well, we'd say it's our first time duo having soul. a solo duo, duo song. Yeah. yeah. We've been uh, in many places together in group shows. Sometimes the creator didn't know we were a couple and the uh, knowledge of our work came from different uh, environments or different points. And then we were together sometimes in some shows by accident, I would say. I think we have history in common. Yeah, I think we have history in common and uh, I work uh, the history of my country, for instance, of my environment from the political perspective. I'm very much concerned with the economy and uh, the language of the publicity and, uh, you know, our capitalist uh, world. motivation is to make the people think, um, think when I'm thinking myself but it is, there are some things that it's important to rethink and then uh, I think that the artist is really taking part on, on that well here um, is uh, I presenting a, a piece from 2009 called La Liberté Razonée is based on a painting of Delacroix this video is a very short video and uh, you will see in a good size and good uh, lighting on the show but it's important for me because uh, it's the representation of a great icon that we all know but uh, what, the, what happens with, Liber with La Liberté is that uh, she's just falling. Falling is a very simple gesture but Liberté falling is a super gesture. But yeah, it's uh, maybe we are all part of it now. Yeah, since uh, September 11, the Twin Towers were falling. And uh, this story is a very sad story of this icon falling. But uh, on the other hand, it's something that we have to think about. Uh, but in this occasion, I'm going to present a uh, new piece called Hestal V. And this is uh, a uh, fifth symphony of Beethoven. Beethoven was creating that symphony as the uh, soundtrack of the French Revolution. So it was the moment of the people. It was an homage to the people that was able to fight for liberty and fight for the independence and then uh, I asked to five different um, conductors to make the interpretation so they are playing that but no music just the movement so they are conducting the people they are not conducting the orchestra and we all have that symphony in mind Ta -da -da -ta, ta -da -da -ta. This is uh, one of the pieces I'm presenting. It's, um, well, you can, at the beginning, at first sight, you cannot tell what it is. It's just a man with a bag and uh, two bags, maybe. And uh, in, yeah, it's green like a soldier. Uh, when you look at the face, it's, uh, it's a bit asiatic. And then the image uh, uh, becomes a bit relevant when you see it from the back.
from the back is the what we saw in 1989 uh, in front of the tanks in June um, in the plaza of Tiananmen in, in, Pe in Pekin. That day students were together asking for uh, democracy in the country. We start making with the same file a big sculpture of the of the tank man, of the little tank man. Like uh, like if this uh, success of democracy would happen, the students made uh, those days a uh, liberty statue that was tumbled down by the tanks, and I wanted to to make it with the size of David of Michelangelo, one centimeter less, because of course we have to respect the masters. And, uh, and this is part of the project. You see? It's uh, FX company for cinema, made what embodied the character of a, of a man, no? of a real man. I think it's an example of what all of us can do and anonymously, you know, just at some moment we have to just try to stop the tanks. No? We can do every day by very simple uh, actions.